Christmas lights were all a-glitter in the big department store. A little boy walked slowly through the big swinging door. His clothes were old and faded with a patch here and there. A small black dog with a spot on his head hugged his leg with his little tail just fanning the air. He hesitated a minute. He didn't seem to know just where to go. Then his eyes lit up and his little face just seemed to glow. He reached down and picked up the little black dog and held him gently to his chest. His eyes had just found Santa Claus and he fell in line behind all the rest. His turn finally came and Santa reached down and placed him on his knee with a great big grin. The little boy lowered his head, glanced down at the floor and said, Santa, I just don't know where to begin. They tell me you grant each little boy and girl a request if they've been good all year and have done their best. My little sister is kind of small. Grandma does her best to keep us clean and neat. And I sell newspapers to help us get more to eat. We go to church and to Sunday school and we do our best to live like they tell us by the golden rule. We kneel together each night and try to pray. But it's just not the same since Mummy and Daddy went away. You see, Santa, it was just a year ago since they went away. They were killed in a car accident this last Christmas day. I don't want to cause any trouble, Santa, and I don't want to cause any fuss. But could you please just ask God to bring them back to us? It would be the finest present you could possibly bring, even better than an angel with big, white, beautiful wings. Grandma says they've gone to the heavenly home. But why should this be, dear Santa, when we had a home of our own? It wasn't the best, and I know it wasn't too fine. But we were all together, and we had a mighty good time. We don't want any presents. My sister has a little rag doll, and I've got my dog Spot. Just give them to other little boys and girls who don't have near as much as we've got. They say that God is good, and I know this is true, because he answered my prayer and let me find you. He raised his little head and looked into Santa's tear-filled eyes. Then he said, I'm sorry, Santa. I didn't mean to make you cry. I didn't know whether you could do this or not, but I just had to try. Please tell all the other drivers to be real careful so that no other little boy and girl's mummy and daddy will have to die. I'll go home now, Santa. My little sister and grandma are alone there. Merry Christmas. God bless you, Santa. That's our sincere prayer.